Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of NetApp Insight 2024 here in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, alongside my co-host and analyst, Rob Streche. So, Rob, there's always been this, this choice that organizations have had to make between simplicity and advanced storage, which has slowed down modernization efforts, but NetApp is, is announcing something new that, that's eliminating that, having to make that compromise. Yeah, and I, I think if any company can do that, it's the power of ONTAP and how really this company has gone forward with that and the simplicity. And you know, I, I get to talk to a friend as well to you know, really dive down into this well, and dig in. Well, let's welcome that yes. friend to, to theCUBE today. He is Sandeep Singh, SVP and GM of Enterprise Storage here at NetApp. Fresh from the main stage, welcome Sandeep. Fresh from the main stage, thank you Rebecca, thank you Rob for having me yeah. here. Yeah. Super exciting. Yes. So we're, as we were talking about earlier, we're going to talk about the, new, the newly announced ASAS series, simple, powerful, affordable, that combination has almost felt too good to be true, maybe impossible, really, <laughs> but, but it's coming together in, in this new announcement. So talk a little bit about how, it, how it's come about. Yeah, uh, you know, look, over the last two years at NetApp, I've uh, traveled probably about 50% of my time and have been meeting with lots and lots of customers. And I often hear them, first of all, the complexity is a core challenge for customers, and that is coupled then with talent and skills shortages, right? And on their block workloads, what they've said is they've had to accept trade-offs between simple and powerful. And in powerful, what they're looking for is scale-out clustering and load balancing and high-end overall intelligent data management. And that trade-off when they're choosing between operational simplicity and the you know, high-end capabilities, it's holding back their modernization efforts. And that was the challenge that we're trying to help customers be able to address. And that's the new ASA A series, is designed to be super simple, right, so that anyone can manage it. Uh, and it has that simplicity within the system built into it, as well as simplicity at scale. We'll talk more about simplicity at scale. And it comes with powerful scale-out clustering, all of the intelligent data management, 6 nines data availability, ransomware recovery guarantee built in. And the third pillar that matters to every customer right now is affordable. Yeah. Uh, and you know, customers get just an upfront advantage in affordable, they get you know, industry leading raw to effective capacity, and they get an overall better total cost of ownership. Uh, that's why we feel that the new SAA series is going to help customers with every budget be able to go and modernize their block workloads. Yeah, I, I think, why don't we dive into that a little bit because you and I have been around the storage block a little bit for, not a few years now, and I, I think when you start to, block intended, right? Yeah. So when you start to look at it, block, block's been around, and a lot of times it was high, high end, go fast, really premium storage. Like you said, there's, but how do you get that down from a, to be cost effective? How, what are the, what trade-offs have you been able to eliminate in the ASA A-series to get, to get it down? Because again, we, we both know, I mean, you used to like sell that yeah. as your high-end storage, go fast, block, sand, you know, go that way. And yes. Well, the beauty is the ASA is built with ONTAP. And ONTAP brings all of the mature capabilities of the high-end scale-out clustering and all of the advanced data management. And we couple that with the overall uh, simplicity. I'll give you an example, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, were uh, competing in a large global bank and in terms of their block workload. And the, they, what they were challenged with was exactly this, right? Simple, there's systems out there, super simple, but they don't provide that scale out clustering. And when customers think about how do they scale their workloads, and the, they want that scale out clustering and load balancing capabilities. And on the other hand, there's platforms that bring that, but they're not known for uh, simplicity. Uh, and that's that trade-off that we're looking to end for customers and help them achieve simplicity without having to go compromise on the capabilities there. So NetApp has a huge focus on unified data storage. Why are you focusing on block storage workloads for these systems? Yeah, uh, another great question. 
Um, certainly there's a lot of customers, um, about 20,000 customers out there who trust NetApp with their block workloads. Uh, many, most of them are going to be in the unified uh, sphere, right? So customers who have a file and block environment that is mixed, it's a, and you know, that's where unified systems make the most sense and give customers just a tremendous benefit across the board. Then there's the standalone file and standalone block environments, uh, in many cases under separate teams as well. And this is where the ASA is helping customers to be able to extend the benefits of ONTAP uh, into the standalone block environments. Now, the benefits of unified data storage, when we talk about that, customers are getting those benefits even in these environments. Here's how. Um, they, I was just in a customer conversation, uh, again, this is in financial services, and what they were sharing is, they, with a separate you know, file you know, solution, a separate block solution, they now have inconsistent management. They have inconsistent automation layer that they have to go invest in. They have inconsistent data security models uh, between you know, two separate uh, solutions. They have inconsistent operational recovery workflows, and then at the end of the day, they have an inconsistent overall vendor and support experience. And what we're helping customers to do is thousands and thousands of customers who trust NetApp, they love their ONTAP experience, they can now bring that ONTAP experience to their block workloads and get simplicity at scale, get that consistency of management, automation, data security model, as well as the operational recovery workflows. Uh, at the end of the day, simplicity at scale is what matters uh, to customers. Yeah, and I, I think just leveraging off of the simplicity at scale and operations, I, Customers, when I'm, we're talking to a lot of organizations as we travel around and have these conversations, and part of it is they want a cloud operating model, which doesn't mean just being in a hyperscaler, it means being a hybrid, it means being that, but they still have massive workloads that are sitting on block storage and things of that nature. Is this part of your whole view is how you bring that cloud operating model to block and how you bring you know, wherever that is and how, how you bring that to them in this ASA E series so that they can operate it all the same way that they do everything else? Yeah, pretty, uh, 100%, right? Uh, it begins with how do we, you know, when, I, when customers talk about complexity, when I double click on that, very quickly it's about complexity is compounded through bespoke infrastructure silos. We're helping customers eliminate the bespoke infrastructure silos, and through that, they get this whole benefit of simplicity at scale. And then, from a cloud operating model perspective, it begins with simplicity and agility uh, for the teams, and then you can layer on in terms of enabling more of a business model through storage as a service, uh, and that's through NetApp Keystone, uh, and block workloads are supported through NetApp Keystone as well. Uh, so we're enabling this end-to-end. -end. The beautiful thing about this is you know, the, when you think about customers who can have file environments, they've got their VMware uh, workloads, the database workloads, AI analytics workloads, cloud storage workloads, secondary workloads, all of those can be underpinned with ONTAP, right? Whether it's on our uh, NAS and unified systems or ASA systems altogether, uh, and we're delivering this unmatched value that no other storage vendor can provide. So you've shared a couple of pain points that, that financial services companies ha have had and, and then they're trying to grapple with the complexity of their workloads and, and the changing workloads that they're, that they're dealing with. How do you envisage customers using and harnessing the power of the, this ASAA series to, 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 to help them simplify? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, yeah, th that, there's three core ways um, that customers can benefit. Uh, first is customers who are using NetApp on their NAS side of it, um, and they can you know, extend that benefit of ONTAP onto their block workloads. Um, and through that lens, they get this notion of simplifying at scale, where they're getting the operational simplicity, the automation simplicity, the data security simplicity, and the opera, you know, re recovery workflow simplicity. Uh, that's the first step. And you know, there's thousands and thousands of customers uh, in that camp. Uh, the second 
every customer is working through and figuring out what's the right go forward strategy for VMware uh, on their front. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I, well, we, we were just there in, <laughs> at their at their the Broadcom event, and, yeah. and you know, or VMware Explore, which you could come up with another name for it. But yeah, it, it, they're all looking to figure out how to reduce it. And I think you had a great story there as well. But yeah, I mean, this is where we're helping customers to be able to first of all, through leveraging data infrastructure insights, uh, be able to go and look at the vCPUs that are configured and to have discover the opportunities uh, using a data-driven exercise. Secondly, to offload the data management onto ONTAP and ASA, and through that lens be able to get VMware savings up front uh, while providing them this unmatched flexibility for the future in terms of hypervisor options, in terms of container solutions, in terms of cloud uh, native virtual machine solutions uh, available to them. So that's the second uh, way. The third key area is there is a lot of legacy disk and hybrid block storage out there. We're enabling customers with the ASA to be able to go modernize that to all flash and to be able to do that affordably within their budget. Yeah, and I, I think again, I don't, I don't think that this is actually outside of what Broadcom's view is on what they want to happen with VMware, they look at it as consolidating down. In fact, they talk about that their ROI comes from consolidation. I don't know that they mean it to happen on NetApp, but <laughs> I think, I think they would look at it and go, as long as they're getting their license fees out of the, the VCF layer, they're, they're good. Where, where do you see the, the biggest bang for the buck for these customers as they modernize? Because it's a refresh cycle that you're talking yeah. about. And where, where is it consolidation? Is it new workloads? Is it uh, bringing, hey, you know, you have these databases that are running on block and you're bringing those up. What do, what do you see as the use cases that, yeah. and workloads? Yeah, certainly, uh, yeah, one is the refresh cycles as customers are thinking about refreshing. Uh, it's an opportunity for them to be able to modernize. Uh, and again, a lot of CFOs, a lot of finance departments are right now asking the IT leaders to go and be able to lower their cost of IT. Um, so it's a fantastic opportunity of how do I modernize and be able to also deliver on my CFO or finance department's objectives. Um, secondly, yeah, as they need better service levels in their VMware or database workloads, um, if they're seeing inconsistencies, uh, this is where there's an opportunity for customers to be able to go and evaluate the right solutions. And then the third is, as you were saying, is consolidation opportunity, right? And be able to consolidate while simplifying, while getting the benefit of scale out clustering, right, w alongside with super simplicity on deploying in minutes and provisioning in seconds and protecting uh, with a single click. And driving down the total cost of ownership too. Absolutely, so, absolutely. When we started our conversation and you were talking about the, what you're hearing from customers and how complexity is their biggest challenge, but you also mentioned talent and skill shortages. Yes. How, do you, how do you sell what you do as a way to also potentially solve or, yeah. or help out those, those issues as well? Yeah, this comes right back to this notion of We've simplicity at scale. Yes. Right, because when you think about if you have bespoke infrastructure silos and you're dealing with skill shortages and resource shortages, now you have to train twice. Now you have to automate twice. Now you have to basically go invest in all of the testing and operational recovery workflows you know, multiple times. You eliminate that with simplicity at scale underpinned with ONTAP. You, you train once, you automate once, you do your recovery workflows once, done. And that's how we're helping customers get the benefit uh, of you know, being able to minimize the challenges of resource and skills gaps uh, shortages there. Yeah, no I think that that, that is you know, a really good way but one last question, what are some of the unexpected benefits that customers are seeing? You're out, like you said, 50% yeah. of your time. That's a lot, we know, <laughs> we're, we're on the road a lot, so <laughs> totally, totally sympathize. <laughs> but what are, you, what are some of the unexpected benefits customers are seeing? Well, look, um, one key area that I'll touch upon is that overall when you think about ransomware uh, detection and ransomware recovery. 
Uh, it's a little bit broader than just the ASA. ASA absolutely comes with a ransomware recovery guarantee as well. Uh, but ransomware is where I get the most questions from customers. It is an absolute top of mind priority. And this is about changing the game from post-process to real-time detection. If you can detect in re real-time in a matter of seconds to minutes, you vastly minimize the impact level and it becomes the enabler of rapid recovery. Uh, this is where it's super exciting at what we're enabling in terms of the overall you know, AI and machine learning in your models that we're bringing uh, to be able to detect in real time, to design for 99% plus accuracy, uh, and then enabling the recovery side of it. Um, that's the, the one top of mind. The second area, which is an obvious one right now, which is everybody is looking to unleash the power of AI yeah. uh, with their data. Uh, we're super excited about the vision that we've just unveiled uh, to help customers get their data AI ready and bring AI to their data uh, to be able to help them overcome this whole notion of AI and data gap. Excellent. Sandeep, pleasure having you on theCUBE. Thank you so much for coming Thank on. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. Yeah. Thank you, Rob. Good seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rebecca Knight for Rob Streche. Stay tuned for more of our live coverage of NetApp Insight 2024. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in enterprise tech news and analysis.